we're going to learn how to make clear text for our layouts. Um, clear text in layouts uh, allows you to have really large text for titles without having those titles uh, gain a whole lot of visual weight. Uh, as we, you hear me say all the time, we want the photos to be the focal point and for the eyes to go to the photos first and if you have this big fancy really cool title um, your eyes going to go to that title first sometimes that may be what you want uh, you may want your eyes to go to that title first which will then uh, make you seek out what's in the photos but um, for those for most of the time you do not and so uh, here's how to quickly do this on any background. You see I have three layers of text here and uh, they're each a different color and I'll show you why here in a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and make these two invisible and we're going to work with this uh, gray gray one first. Um, to make this 50% gray which is required uh, for this to work properly you may remember this from some other tutorials I'm going to go up here, and you'll notice in the HSB boxes, uh, the first two are zero, and the last one is 50%. The, the brightness one is 50%, and that makes a 50% gray. Um, you can note here, it's also 128, 128, 128, uh, that will also get it, but it's easier to remember just to put 50% in the brightness. And so we have a 50% gray uh, title here. And if you change that to the blending mode, with the way blending modes work, um, if this is a 50% gray and you choose the overlay, you'll notice it makes that text disappear. That text is now clear, but it's so clear we can't even see it. Um, so uh, to be able to see that text then, you're going to go in to your bevels and add a bevel. You can add any bevel that you want, but for this uh, first example, let's use the simple inner. Now you can see your title up. And in this case, I don't like the way that bevel looks, so I'm going to click on this FX symbol to bring up my style settings. I'm going to lower that bevel some. I think I like it a lot about right there. You can see now that's a really cool way to do a title. Now let's um, check out the black text. I did the same thing in the black text. Now with blacks, black, and you may remember this from some of my other tutorials, and hopefully things are all coming together for you, but with the black, if you use difference, it makes it invisible. And then you can go in and add a drop shadow. Let's go ahead and add the inner one this time. Let's change it to a down direction. Now you can see how cool that is. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm kind of trying to get over cold. Now let's go to the white one. With the white one, you can actually use any one of these that uh, darken uh, in this grouping here. So there's the darkened one. Multiply. You can see they all are invisible. There's the linear burn. And the darker color, they are all invisible with this white. And uh, then you can go and add. Let me pick one. Don't know which one. What's this one look like? There, that's kind of cool. And so um, you can, I, I just have to go in and play. See what else I can come up with. Oh, there, I like that one. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I always get distracted playing, don't I? <laughs> that that turned out pretty cool. So um, I think that's about it for this, and um, I hope that you have uh, learned something, and let me see you using this technique in a layout, and uh, 
just have fun playing.